All right, uh, break time's over, and we're back at it. Number six. At Large Lake, Rocky Point is five miles from Salt. Salt is 13 miles from Pleasant View. How far is Pleasant View from Rocky Point? So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to draw the lake. This is Large Lake. Okay, this is the town of Salt. This is the town of Rocky Point. This is the town of Pleasant View. So we know from Rocky Point to Salt is five miles. So somewhere in here is five miles. And we know Salt to Pleasant View is 13 miles. Okay, and we're trying to figure out the distance from Pleasant View to Salt. Now, there's a couple ways to approach it. You can try to figure out this angle, and you probably need some calculus to figure that out. So we're not going to do this. So instead, we're going to estimate. So we're just going to draw a little map of our own here to get a figure that we're also familiar with. What figure is this? Triangle. Triangle. What kind of triangle? A right triangle, thank you very kindly. What do we know about a right triangle? What formula relates to a right triangle? The bill, though. <laughs> huh? I, I think I got the answer here. Say it, what is it? It's uh, 12. It's a Pythagorean theorem. It's a Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, so. Pythagorean relationship. So it's, uh, yeah. Pythagoras. <laughs> right? <laughs> We're going to find out. <laughs> okay? So, what the Pythagorean theorem says is that the, the slope of the triangle is called the hypotenuse. And it's always the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is C. Okay? So, that, so let me just draw it clear over here to show you what shape we're dealing with. Here's a right triangle. This side right here is called the hypotenuse, and that's always C. The legs of the triangle can be A or B, it doesn't matter. You can call this side A or this side B, or you can call this side A or this side B. <coughs> right? But this, but this side is always C. This side is the hypotenuse. It's always C. Okay? So now let's go to our dotted line here. Okay? So we just said salt to Rocky Point is 5, and Rocky Point to Pleasant View is 13, right, Erica? So either side can be A, either side can be B. So we're going to do 5 squared plus 13 squared equals C squared, because we do not know C. Okay? Who knows what 5 squared is? 25, right? Because remember, squared means a number times itself. Who knows what 13 squared is? 169. 169. 169 plus 25 is what? And then so C squared equals 194. So if C squared equals 194, then just plain old C I got, I got 194, so I added it. equals what? The square root of 194. Who knows what the square root of 194 is? Right here. It's, uh, <laughs> We're getting it. You're getting it? Four t it's going to be 14. I mean, 13.928. 13.928. So we'll just round it off to 14. We'll see. Easy. <laughs> Number seven. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back over that one. The Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared. So let's review exponents real quick. So one squared is one times itself, or one. And the square root of one is one. Okay? Two squared is two times two. Two times two is four, correct? Mm -hmm. The square root of four is what? Two. Two. This is a root. Three squared 
is 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. The square root of 9 is what? 3. three. 4 squared is 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is what? 16. The square root of 16 is what? 5 squared is 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is what? The square root of 25 is what? 5. Can you see the relationship of the exponents? So when I say the square root of 194, what I'm asking you is what number times itself equals 194? When I ask you the square root of the number 25, I'm saying what times itself equals 25? And so that's 5 times 5. When I say what's the square root of 16, I'm saying what, two num what number multiplied by itself equals 16? Well, that's 4. 4 times 4. Make sense? So let's, let's, let's wipe all this away and start all over. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay? We said the legs of the triangle can be A or B. It does not matter. It does not matter if 5 is A or 5 or B or 13 is A or 13 is B. I'm going to say 13 is A this time, and I'm going to say 5 is B this time, and I'm going to say C squared is always what it is, which is a hypotenuse. Then we're going to say 13 squared, we've already quoted it, but let's say it again, is 169. 5 squared is what? 25. 25. It's a number times itself. It equals C squared. So when we're setting up this problem, the thing is we, our goal is to get C equals something because we need to find out what's the distance from Pleasant View to Salt. Remember, we need to identify our question. The whole point of doing this is we want to get C all the way down here by itself equaling something because that something is going to be this. Does that make sense? That's our goal, so let's work towards our goal. 169 plus 25, we said, is 194 equals C squared. But do we want to know what C squared is, or do we want to know what C is? We want to know what C is. So if C squared <coughs> equals 194, then the square root of 194 equals just plain old C, right? Mm -hmm. Then Fidel told us already, he said it was what, 14 point? 13.9. Uh, 13 point point nine. Nine. Yeah. 13.9 something, so run off at 14. So C equals 14. The distance from Pleasant View to Salt is 14 miles. But James corrected me. I gotta. I feel guilty if I take the because what I did by I think by accident I, I, I subtracted the the 25. The, oh yeah, and I uh, what I should have added was, was the added. So added together. So we're sitting here bickering the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you came to the answer, so great. Any questions here? I had to come. <laughs> Now that your conscience is clean, any yeah. questions here? <laughs> <laughs> I just, just mistake. <laughs> All right, let's keep on pushing.